My name is Cami Ross, and I'm one of the study abroad advisors at Case Western's Office of Education Abroad. I'm here to tell you that engineers can and do study abroad at Case Western. So when you think about studying abroad, you're probably thinking about traveling, about meeting new people, seeing new things. But there are a lot of tangible and soft skills that you can build while studying abroad. NACE is the employer surveyor to see what employers are looking for and new hires. You can see from this list that a lot of these skills are things that you can build while studying abroad. You're going to be communicating with others um, across cultures. You're going to have to take initiative on your own because many times, um, for example, office hours might be different abroad. Um, there's a lot of detail and orientation. There's flexibility. Um, you're going to have to maybe get a visa. Um, these are all things that you're going to be building skills because you're going to have to overcome differences. So why study abroad at Case Western? First off, we make things as easy as we can for you. You're going to be paying your regular Case Western tuition, and you're going to have access to some of the top universities around the world. Um, National University of Singapore is um, one of the top ranked international universities. Um, usually it's top 10, top 15. Um, we work with a lot of um, specific program providers that cater to study abroad students. Um, and we do try to keep financials as cost neutral as po possible. So when I say cost neutral, what do I mean? For semester long or year long programs, you're going to be paying regular Case Western tuition, keeping scholarships and financial aid. The difference is housing abroad. So housing abroad can be much cheaper than Case Western. Um, for example, if you study abroad at Sogong in Korea, you can get free housing. Um, in Hong Kong Polytechnic, it's about $800 for a whole semester. Many European universities have housing that's about half the cost of Case Western. And so it truly is an opportunity for you to save money and that helps you buy your flight and travel and pay for additional living expenses. So that's why we say cost neutral. In addition to cost neutrality, we have a lot of scholarships. So not only does Case Western have many, but there are many national scholarships that we support. Um, we can provide essay assistance and we can even provide budgeting tools for while you are abroad. So it's not if you go abroad, but when. So maybe you're interested in semester long or year long programs. Again, you can transfer these back for major, minor, breadth or elective cre credit. You do not have to speak a second language because most of these are in English. Um, Sophomores, juniors, seniors are eligible. And again, our deadline is typically about six months in advance. So beginning of the semester before you wanna go abroad. So in terms of the universities that we work with, um, these are schools that have um, rigor, safety, um, top language um, and major and minor classes. Um, as well as we work within a consortium of engineering schools called GE3. Um, and so you can really get access to larger universities, large engineering programs, maybe areas where you can explore a, a niche um, that you haven't been able to get much coursework on at Case Western. Um, maybe you're interested in wind farm development or um, you're interested in um, different aerospace um, options that we don't have here or soft polymers maybe. Um, so that's an opportunity for you to take courses um, that we don't offer at Case Western. So in terms of courses that we do offer, um, each major has specific requirements um, for you to stay on track. BME has actually gone through many of our program providers and helped cultivate a list to show what schools you can actually go to and stay on track for BME. Kemi has done the same thing. In fact, they've gotten two schools where they actually even lined up 
the classes, you can see what you need to take when and how it all fits in. These are all pre-approved programs with these two universities. Even beyond that, there are so many options. Aerospace engineering. Um, there's a huge program at Delft University in the Netherlands. Civil and environmental engineering. Maybe you want to go to Singapore for that because they have some really interesting um, structure classes um, that you can take there. But every area of engineering, you can find the coursework that you need abroad. Um, if you're struggling, that's what we advisors are here to help you with. So maybe you're not ready to go for a whole semester. We still have short term abroad. So we, this is where you're going to be traveling with Case Western faculty and Case Western students, typically over breaks, winter break, spring break, a little bit of summer. Um, and so, you know, this is an opportunity for you to maybe take global issues, health and sustainability in India. That's an EECS class. Um, global health design in Uganda, that's engineering 350. Um, so you can definitely take engineering courses even for short term. So I mentioned a little bit about summer. Yes, we have faculty led in the summer. We also have a decent amount of virtual options in the summer, either coursework that you can take from the comfort of your own home or internships or even research. In addition, many of the universities that we work with um, actually have programming in the summer so long as it's over three weeks long. Um, you can take even engineering coursework. We have a program with Shanghai Jiao Tong in Shanghai um, where you're, you can take classes like thermodynamics, for example. Um, also MUAS in Munich, um, they have some really interesting courses on engineering and sustainability that you can do over the summer. So there are some special considerations too. Um, you know, when are you going to go abroad? A lot of that has to do with how your major is lining up with what classes you've been taking. Um, but there also are additional opportunities. So maybe you can do research abroad. We work with Euro scholars in Arcadia where you can actually go through a menu of projects that you can sign up for and get credit for while abroad. Um, often it can actually apply for co-op, but there also are additional options like day a day. It's a German exchange over the summer where you can get paid for research at German universities. Um, Taiwan has some really interesting engineering internship summer pro programs and um, the Weissman Institute in Israel has a STEM research opportunity where you get a stipend and there are additional scholarships available for that too, to help offset even whatever costs you have. Um, so internships and service learning, definitely think about those opportunities while abroad. So how do you study abroad? First, I really recommend setting up an appointment with an advisor. Every major, every person is a little different. Um, and so we can really help you navigate what your next steps are um, and see wh what options you have. Um, you can email studyabroad at case.edu and we'll shoot back how to do it. You can go to our website or you can find us on my journey. Um, also feel free to do your own due diligence. Go through our programs on our website. We have all of the information you might need links to all of the syllabus information and course catalogs abroad, um, and stay in touch. Follow us on Instagram, follow our newsletter. We list out scholarships, we list out different opportunities and deadlines, and so you don't want to miss those either. So I hope to see you soon, and I hope that you now think of engineering and study abroad as being an option.